Before beginning the examination, wash your hands. Pull the curtains round to maintain privacy. Introduce yourself to the patient and check the patient's identity. Explain what the examination will involve and seek the patient's consent. You should check the patient is not in any discomfort before beginning and ask them to report discomfort as you proceed. Start the examination by looking at the hands. Look at the nails for coil and achaea. Look for pallor of the palmar creases. Examine the skin more generally, looking for signs of easy bruising, purpura, petechiae or skin infections. Inspect the eyes for pallor or jaundice. Inspect the mouth. Look for angular stomatitis. Look at the mucosa for oral candidiasis or ulcers. Look at the tongue, noting any smooth or beefy appearance. Using a tongue depressor, Inspect the tonsils and tonsillar bed. Dispose of the tongue depressor in clinical waste. Inspect the neck for any masses or asymmetry. Ask the patient to take a mouthful of water, hold it in their mouth and then swallow inspecting the neck during swallow. Next examine the neck lymph nodes for lymphadenopathy. Ask the patient to sit on the side of the bed and examine the neck from behind. Ensure that all lymph node groups are palpated systematically. Start anteriorly palpating the submental and submandibular nodes. Work systematically through the anterior and posterior triangles, palpating for upper, middle and lower cervical nodes. Palpate the post-auricular occipital and preauricular areas. Finally, palpate for supraclavicular nodes. Ask the patient to tilt their head to the side to relax the neck muscles. Palpate above and behind the clavicle along its length. Be aware this can be slightly uncomfortable. Repeat on the other side. Next, apply gloves before examining for axillary and inguinal lymph nodes. Examine for axillary lymph nodes. Ask the patient to relax their arm on yours and take the weight of the arm. Palpate by drawing your fingers downwards. Palpate the medial, anterior and posterior walls in turn. Medial wall. Anterior wall. Posterior wall. Finally, palpate high into the apex. Be aware this can be uncomfortable. Repeat the process on the other side. Medial wall. Anterior wall. 
anterior wall. Posterior wall. And the apex. Ask the patient to lie flat. Check consent to proceed with inguinal lymph node examination. Expose the area. Inspect for any inguinal swellings. Making small circular motions, palpate for horizontal inguinal nodes just below the inguinal ligament. Palpate for vertical inguinal nodes down the medial aspect of the upper thigh along the line of the saphenous vein. Repeat the process on the other side. Remove your gloves and dispose in clinical waste. Note that there are also lymph nodes in the epitrochlear and popliteal regions. Examine these if clinically indicated. Carry out abdominal inspection. Sit down for abdominal palpation to achieve a flat hand position. Change the height of the bed if needed. Again, check for discomfort before proceeding. Perform general abdominal palpation. Start in the left iliac fossa, unless there is pain at this site. Leave any painful area to be examined last. Perform light palpation of all areas, followed by deeper palpation. Watch the patient's face during abdominal examination. Palpate the liver using your right hand. Start in the right iliac fossa, moving towards the right upper quadrant one centimetre at a time. Ask the patient to take deep breaths. Feel for the liver with the edge of your index finger as it descends with inspiration. Percuss for the upper border of the liver. Note the distance from the upper border to the liver edge. Palpate the spleen. Start in the right lower quadrant, moving towards the left hypochondrium. Ask the patient to take deep breaths again, feeling for the spleen with each inspiration. Percuss for the spleen. If you don't feel the spleen, palpate again with the patient lying on their right side. Position your left hand over the lower ribs, gently pulling the ribs forward. Explain your findings and thank the patient. Allow the patient privacy to get dressed. Finish by washing your hands and proceed to document your findings.